Hello there, so look, uh, today we're looking at making our own artwork in the style of John Virtue. Um, there's three photos for you to choose from the PowerPoint. I've chosen this one. Um, you can see my printer's playing up today, not printing very well, so I've actually got it on the screen in front of me as well, just to help me get a clearer picture of it. So I'm working in the style of John Virtue, trying to look at the techniques that have been used in this artwork. So you can see here, we've got paint, um, we've got charcoal, we've got inks, um, there's, it's quite impasto here, um, but we've got lighter spray at the top. It's also almost a silhouette, the, the, the skyline with the sky being white and the water at the front here with shadows covered across it. So I'm going to try and recreate some of those in this drawing. So I had those markers and things that I had earlier out um, when I was doing my copy. So I'm actually going to use this really thick one now because I want to block in some of these shapes. I've got the shard here. Take that right up to a point at the top. Put that in. So I'm getting that idea of a silhouette. Now I might want to actually keep, or at least be able to distinguish some of these buildings around it. You can see I just did a light pencil drawing just to start off with just so that for this piece of work I really needed to be able to see where I was going to be putting in my lines first. So just a little sketch. So this is this is a chisel tip, which is what's given me these marks which I quite like. And I'm going for this silhouette so I can bring these these lines down through here. going to be quite dark. I want quite a strong water line coming through here. Just outlining those buildings and then blocking them in. You can still see the structure of them but they are becoming this silhouetted form. Now, I want to start adding some of these sort of softer applications that John Virtue is using in this particular artwork. So I've got some different things I can use for that. Um, this is a match that I've lit and then I've blown out, so it's given me some charcoal. Um, get your parents to do that for you. But that means that I've got sort of these softer tones that I can use. Rub that in with my finger. You might need to go back and really light that to get some more tones from it. It's just giving me those softer layers that I'm looking for. And those bits that are coming off, I can rub those in with my fingers. Like that. I'm also going to go in, I've got my uh, wet paintbrush here with some black black paint on it and I'm going to use that to spray to create these sort of soft marks that we've got at the top here. So that was quite wet paint and then I took some of it off before I started spraying just so it wasn't too thick. All of that. So I can get some more depth to that in there. Now with my painted finger, I'm actually going to rub some of that in along that edge. Give me those clouded areas. Again, I am just working on photocopy paper. If you're lucky enough to be working in your sketchbook, you'll have much more texture to your paper and it, it won't start to peel off like this is with the texture of my finger. So that, I'm quite happy with that top part now. Right, let's have a look at these buildings, see if I can use a bit of the paint that I've got on my brush 
to knock those back a bit more. So what I like about using these different techniques is you're getting different ranges of black. They're all black, but they're different ranges of black depending what type of material you're using. That's starting to work quite nicely now. Now looking at my waterline, I'm going to go in, I've got a black colour pencil here as well, that will give me another texture, so I'm going to start working in Latin, putting these shadows across the water, this dark, dark river Thames, and then using my paintbrush, which I've just reloaded, see how it slightly resists over that colour pencil, so it doesn't sink into the paper so quickly. So that gives you a bit more time to manipulate that paint with your finger. Work into these areas a bit more. And then I'm just gonna block back in with some more of that, that marker at the end there. Quite nice to use a permanent marker because it gives you these much stronger blacks and also it will go over pretty much anything else you put down there. So you could also use pastel for this if you've got it. You could use a range of different pencils. It's up to you. There we go. That's my own interpretation of a John Virtue artwork.